Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the United States. Well, I am playing again with my paper pumpkin. I love this cute little set. It has been so much fun. I am on video number eight and we are going to add at the pond with this little set. Um, so this is at the pond. It is a hostess set, which means you need to spend at least $150 retail. That means for demonstrators, you still had to do that to get this at the discount of $14. And I absolutely love this set. It will always be with me. Um, and the little frog in this set is so cute. He had it needed to have the other elements. So let's show you. I actually have the card that we are making so i did a sample because i needed to figure out where i wanted everything and isn't that sweet and this is the inside so i really really did enjoy um, creating this fun little card and it goes very long i think along with the theme very uh cutesy little card so let's go over and this i did design this so this would go into a clear envelope for mailing so let's stick it in its envelope and i'll show you what i mean by designed it that way i made it because you want to show off it's such a darling card show it off these clear envelopes are so wonderful for that so i made an address label for it using the little frog from the set, a little hello, and the little dragonfly. I almost put the dragonfly up there, but then your stamp goes up there. So this is what I mean by it is designed to have. There you go. So that's your mailing part of your card. Really, really cute. Fun, fun stuff. So let's go over what we're going to need and what we are using from the kit. I told you all I was going to use those dyes and flowers, and this is the card for that. So I have, oh, look at that, for the mailing. <laughs> Address label. Address label is four and a quarter by five and a half, and that's for the clear envelope. So there's that piece. We'll get to it. And we have our clear envelope. My pen so I can write. So I have a basic white card base that's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. We have our first layer is old olive. Here it is. Die cut with the layering diorama dies. And this is the third from the outside, this is the third one. If you count one, let me show you. Okay, so this one, one, two, this is the third one from the outside on the going towards the inside. I did use the fifth one. So one, two, three, four. I did use the fifth one for the inside and you'll see what I'm talking about in the minute. So we have that, that is the green part of our pond and this is what was die cut from that and I thought why not use it on the inside so I'm not going to show you the inside of the card just yet you'll have to wait and see it'll be a little surprise so I cut out another like I said number the fifth one uh, to layer up in here that we're going to stamp our sentiment and so forth on so I'm going to put that over there if you have not seen Oh, I guess we should quick flash. That is the project sheet. This is the sneak peek at the botanical set for next month's paper pumpkin. Let's get that out of the way. And the little um, sweet little stamp set. We're using you, wishing you sunshine and smiles, the frog, the hello, and the little flowers and the sun. That is what we are using out of this kit. So, and this gray piece here. We're going to change this up. I didn't like the gray. We're going to change it and make it blue. So you're going to need this piece, basic gray piece, the diorama die cut piece from the kit. You will need balmy blue and a sponge dauber. Lots of scrap white. 
um, for our images. You'll need a one and three inch circle die or punch for our sun. And let's get started, shall we? So we're going to start. Let me see where to put this. Let's start with our sun. And um, you can tell I tried to outline it. I didn't like that at all as it didn't have a black border. Where is my sun? So our sun is in Mango Melody. And while we're doing that, we're going to use that other diorama piece. You can see my sun here. And let's turn this over maybe. So we're going to need our sun here. We're going to stamp off real quick, real easy. There is our sun for our card. I can set that up, up and away. And wishing you sunshine and smiles, full strength in the center of that white pond. That is all done. And we are going to put Mango Melody up, up and away too. So let's punch out as it's easier to do on camera with a punch our sunshine here. Because the blue around it did not work at all. We're going to go ahead and glue this to our inside piece. But we're not done. We're going to decorate the inside. We're just setting this aside for now. And our sun is done. So I'm going to set that over to my left. And I am going to show you how I did my frogs. I did a one, two, three, four element to show you how I came up with this sweet little frog man. And you will need two of these little frogs. If you didn't get the dies, you can fussy cut these. There's, they're so simple. It's just the dies. When I saw them, I ordered them. And I hear that they're no longer available. So to do our little frog, first you stamp with Memento. I used Balmy Blue and I went all the way around my frog. Step two, I took the dark of the Old Olive and the dark of the So Saffron. And I put in my little shadow bits on my little frog. Let me hold this up so maybe you guys can get a good look at that. So I just did his mouth between his eyes and in little corners and with the, oh, sorry, this is Daffodil Delight, not Saf Saffron. So Dark Daffodil Delight. I did three little areas of his little belly. So that is step two. Step three, I took the light Daffodil Delight and I filled in his wee little belly. Now for step four, okay. I didn't do his show you his belly because that's not what step four was. Step four is I took the light old olive and I colored in my wee little frog with the light old olive. Step five is he's all done and you get to punch him out. He's so fun. So my little flowers, let's walk through these. Step one, old olive, do your stems, do all the dark in step one. So I used um, dark. This is Calypso Coral. Dark Calypso Coral. Dark Fresh Freesia. Dark Daffodil Delight. And Dark Flirty Flamingo for that one. Step two, just showing you what I did in the flowers. I colored in the flowers with the light blends. This one got a little messed up. I got a little carried away. Step three, I took the old olive and I colored in my petals. Step four, I took my balmy blue and I colored all the way around all of my images. Then, for the magic of camera, I have my little flowers. All done. They're all die cut. All done. But, so we can show you again. I'm going to show you how to do the wee little frog. So, this is my paper pumpkin block that came when I got my first paper pumpkin kit. So I'm going to stamp my wee little frog down in this corner. Now I'm not going to outline him in blue 
on this. Oh, and while we're doing it, let's show you the dragonfly. So we don't want to put it right where the stamp is. And the dragonfly is from at the pond. And my little hello, where did you go? It's somewhere. Oh, <laughs> where do you see? That tiny little stamp is on this great big block. And I want my little hello right here. Saying hello to the person you are sending it to. So let's get started. Like I said, we're going to start with the darks. And I'm doing the little bridge area of his face, his little mouth. A little bit right here, 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 in little crevices. That's it. It's so simple, but like I said, I did all the dark first. So I'm doing a little yellow here and a little spot there. Now I need the dark fresh freesia and that's for my dragonfly. So I went over here, up at the top there and I did my tail. Now we can come in with the light. So the light, Fresh Freesia, I thought that was a good color for Mr. Dragonfly. And we did the eyes light in the Daffodil Delight and the light little froggy belly, which is so cute. These little frogs, you could do so many different little colors. And the light old olive. And I kind of like to do little circular motions with my blends if I'm using um, the bullet tip. So I'm not going to outline him in blue because I'm not cutting him out. So there he is. But the little dragonfly from At The Pond is a two-step stamp that's really cute. And we need our balmy blue for this gonna need our balmy blue for a lot but we're gonna stamp off those wings because I didn't want them super dark and that is our mailing address slip and it shows you how quick and easy those blends work it's just lickety split quick so let me show you what else we did we do need to do one of the logs and why do I only have one? It's like, that's weird. Um, is the other piece? Yeah, I'm like, I don't have the other piece of the log. Why is that? So at the pond, we need that piece back out. I'm not sure why it went rogue. And the only block y'all I got left is this great big one. So I'm just going to plop that up here. And we're starting out with crumb cake. Now these are polymers. They do make a but better um, stamping image if you do them on a piece of foam or cushioning as they don't have the cushioning of the red rubber. So there we go. There's our log. I'm going to have a lot of blocks to clean. And that's for the crumb cake. I should leave that a bit open. Next is soft suede, and that is for the outline image of my log. Now, there is a taller bump at the log, which coincides with that bump there. And it is so quick and so easy. It's so simple. I, I, I can't explain to you how easy this stamp set is to play with. It really is that simple. So that's our log. Next we have, I'm going to show you how easy these are. I have my little dragonfly cut out. I'm not going to do any more cutting out, but I just want to show you how easy these were to do. So black memento for the ducktails. And we have that wee little one. So here's that. And we need the old olive. Let's 
we're going to use this for grass on our old olive too around our pond and I just came in and stamped it and this wee little one I'm gonna have to take something off oh, let's see if I can get it right here we used um, where's the soft suede <laughs> which one is the soft suede this is soft suede I stamped off and then stamped the cattail. I think I said ducktail. <laughs> it's cattail. Ducktails was a cartoon. So then I went around with my blue, light balmy blue. I like using the brush tip to do this. And I went around the edge. All the way around. I think it just really adds to it when you fussy cut. Um, about 95% of my images that I fussy cut, if they're like anything like this, I, I do color them around the outside and then I fussy cut those out. So I did not do the log. Let me close up these ink pads now and set them up, up and away because they've done their job. Um, I did not do around the log because I wanted to cut and I didn't want the blue to draw your eye to the log as much. So I just cut as close as I could on these to the soft suede line. And you're going to need two logs, two cattails, one dragonfly, two frogs for this card. So, and we have our little <laughs> cute little flies, which are just so stinking cute. So let me put that away and move on. So you'll see all of my elements. I have two logs, two cattails, flowers, two frogs, and a little dragonfly. So we have our card base and our old olive diorama die, and this is from the kit, but I didn't want to use that gray, so we're going to color this, and we're going to color it with our sponge dauber. And I'm going to ink it up, stamp off, and I'm going to start in kind of dark around the inside. I wanted that, ooh, this is darker than it was before, but it's still going to look great. So I go all the way around. Need to add a little bit more. I want it to be the same. Little swirls. Now I'm going to start blending out. And you don't have to do the whole entire piece. as it won't be seen. You only do need to do enough around the outside. Let me show you what I mean. I'll get that off of there. Flip it over for a second so you can really see this. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't need to go crazy on coloring this entire piece. I want to add a little bit more in here. Okay. So next what you need to do is you need to take that after you're done. Get it center. And now we're going to add some blue into our, and go around the outside again. We want it lighter this time. It's okay if it moves because we're just getting an idea of where to put our ink. And what I mean by that is take it off. You see our pond? That would be cool too and just stamp images. Oh, the things I could do. So I'm stamping off a lot of that ink. And now I'm going to come over and fill in my pond some. And I'm going to go further around the outside. You can add ink, you just can't take it off. Okay, that should be really good. There's my sponge dauber. Now we're gonna take these waves from the at the pond. We're gonna stamp off 
and I'm going to start up here. Stamp off again. I'm going to bring one over here. Stamp off and bring one down here. I've got a little, didn't get that completely stamped off. But let me think. I think this is all done with the balmy blue. We can um, close that up. And now we can glue our pieces down. This one is going to get glued straight down with the basic gray going onto our cardstock. Then we, we can't do anything with our green yet, okay? It's going to go on there, but we're going to do some stamping on the green with those greenery like that from the cattail. So I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to stamp again. I want the light and the dark, so dark, and then let's see, light. And I'm going to go one more off to the side like so and there now i'm going to come in down here and stamp off so i'm going to start stamping off this one full strength stamp off i'm going to bring it a little farther down just to give a little variation of it and i'm going to continue this all the way across my page here so down then up and then i'm going to come in a little bit on the side and just a hair there just bringing my green and grass around the edges of the pond now we are ready to put this on, but this piece is going to go up on dimensionals. So let's see. And you're going to want them so you don't get saggy bits. So you will need, I think, a few more than you normally would. I want some near the edge of the pond. And one up there in the corner. That should cover it pretty well. So we peel off all our backings. And the fun part is to try to get this on just so. Which, you know, it's a card. It's handmade card always interesting with dimensionals especially with these nails I got going on to all of you crafters out there who craft with nails uh, you are much better crafter than I am <laughs> so I'm gonna start by getting this level and then getting this on my tabletop and hopefully that lines it pretty well up it could have been a little better but there is my pond Next, we're going to start decorating our card. And I can bring in, maybe, <laughs> I can bring in our sample to show you. And we got more dimensionals to go on here. So we need, I need a little needle here. Pick this up. We need one on our little dragonfly right here because he's up in this corner. We need um, a couple on this side over here where the sun is at. So there's one that took off the backing. I wanted to pick the whole thing up. So let's put our sun, if I can get it. There is our sun on our pond. Do you see, we still need to do some stamping. So we need that old olive again. We forgot about the lily pads. So I'm gonna open this up 
And yes, I did do it like this too. I did put these on after I glued it down because I wanted to make sure I had it in place. I just almost forgot that I did do that. So I'm going to do three little lilies in our pond and we're going to do our flying fat old chubby flies and I'm going to put them a little farther to the right so they're just buzzing by and our little frog is thinking oh mm, those would be such a great snack so now for like I said this is a two-part stamp set and it does have one great big fat uh leaf of our lily pond and that's how I lined it up let me see if I can get it again oops nope it goes over here like so yes and I kind of like this old olive tying in our old olive grassy area of our pond and you know what we're going to use that for the inside. Yeah, we are. I'm going to leave that undone. So now that we have all of that in place, let's get our log. So our log is going to go front and center, and he is not going to go on dimensionals, but I am going to put like so, and then run some glue on it like so, because I want it down here. We have one of our cattails. This is not going on, but we are not doing the whole thing. Just part of it, because this is sitting like so. And our little flowers are not getting, you can see I used scrap from a leftover paper pumpkin. I just flipped it over and used the white piece. So there's our flowers. Now, our little frog is what's going up on dimensionals. So, let's see if I can grab. I'm not sure how many I need. I just need it at the bottom. Because he's going to be hanging over. So, there is our sweet, sweet little frog. It's so stinking cute. Yikes! Okay. This is done, but we need to do our embellishments. And I brought in, where are these? I found this little sheet floating around in my drawer. And I'm like, okay, let's add a pop of that red. Um, well, that one can go wherever it wanted to. It didn't want to play with us today. So I'm adding that to our flower. And then I added these sweet little ones to my dragonfly so maybe we can try this again one two so I still have three left I'm not sure what to do with them yet make another card and then I have these left over from a paper pumpkin that I used on my last card and I'm like why not share the love so there And on each side of our sun and I should have one more I don't know why I have four not five um, four five six seven I guess it's because of the gems like something is off here but nope that's it wink Estella and then we're going to work on the inside. It's not going to take long, guys, for the inside. So just a bit of Wink of Stella on everything. And the flowers. And, of course, our little froggy. And that's all there is to this one. And let's open her up and get... Oh, I remember I said we should do our little lilies. Let's glue this in first. So our little extra pond is going to go right here. And then we're going to add, going to need the black memento again. 
swap it out, hold it down. We're going to add one there and one up here. That is cute. Let me cover it up because I don't need it anymore. So cute. So told you we have to decorate the inside. So I'm putting my little log over here. Okay. And I'm going to glue my little frog right down on top of it. And we have a cattail to put over here. I mean, how, oh, it's just darling. And we have our little flowers. And I realized uh, we'll probably just add our little flower patch right here. right on top of our cattails. Now, is that not so cute on the inside? And you can't forget the Wink of Stella. We did it on the outside. It needs to be done on the inside. And our little frog. So I have one extra flower. I'm gonna stick that in my little bin of goodies for this kit. And we have our clear envelope. Let's stick our mailing label in there. And you can see the outside of our card and the inside. So that's quite a bit, but I am super, super pleased. Let me give you guys a closer look at how cute this card is. The inside, isn't it darling? And that's what I mean. It deserves to be in a clear envelope to be shown off when you mail it. It really does deserve that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my process of creation and my step on how I do my little frogs with my blends, do my little images. I hope that helped you all. And I hope you come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.